This is Twit. And then we talked on Sunday, but we can mention it here again about Ring. Um, yeah. And I, I, I still have my Ring doorbell. I love Ring, and I was very happy to advertise them. I thought Jamie Siminoff was a great guy. He's the founder of Ring. But uh, they've recently come under some severe scrutiny. Uh, the, the original story came from the information. So I'm going to give, I don't want to give Sam Biddle the time of day, but I'll give the information credit uh, for, they're the ones who really discovered it, Sam, as usual, just rewriting their stuff. But uh, I think, uh, what do you think of that? We talked Stacy already about it, but I'm going to give Jeff a chance uh, to talk about what. Wh so the point was that Ring, Jamie in 2016 opened a Ukraine office. And when they went out there to visit, according to the information story, um, the Ukrainians, they, you know, one of the initiatives was we, we need to improve our recognition, our face recognition, our object recognition. The Ukrainians said, okay, but you got to give us access to the data so that we can, uh, you know, build in some of this machine learning. And uh, unfortunately, uh, they did. <laughs> Jamie, uh, you know, left and, and by the way, uh, Ring has denied that Jamie was the one who said it, but... Uh, the story said that. Uh, and then as as he walked out the door, um, they were given access to that Amazon S3 bucket with all the videos. On the spot, Mr. Simonoff agreed to arrange for the team to get administrative access to Ring's web-based interface where customer videos could be streamed, according to multiple people either present or briefed about the meeting. That resulted in a real issue because those videos were now available to be shared, to be viewed uh, without customer permission by these Ukrainian employees. And, of course, now some of this story, and somebody in the comments said, if this had been a, a British company, would you have had the same problems? Because of it's Ukraine, there's some concern about the security. Uh, the security vulnerability is one of several problems with Ring's Ukraine office. The engineers hired for the team often had little experience, hindering the development of AI-powered doorbells. They got the database of all the video history. Now, a year later, Ring was acquired by Amazon. And as I don't know, as best we can tell, maybe Stacy, you're covering the story too. Amazon has stopped this practice. I'm not sure. Yes. I and I would also caution. So I know, Jeff, you're about to talk. I'm sorry. You did. No, I asked you, Stacy. Yeah. I want to hear more information. Okay. Yes. No. Um, so Amazon has changed that. I think this might be an issue of, hey, you ask and you get. It's like a startup. We don't have processes in place right. for this, mm -hmm. right? So I, I don't think it was necessarily nefarious. I well, do that's think what it was I, probably careless. I do. I have respect yeah. for Jamie. And I think Jamie is really smart. He's a great founder. And I don't think that he did this in any way maliciously uh, or with any goal of, you know, kind of breaking security. They just weren't thinking. They had no process. A spokesperson for Ring told the information, the customer videos are encrypted today but didn't mm -hmm. respond to questions about Ring when Ring began encrypting the video. So these were unencrypted videos, shareable videos out of an S3 bucket. Um, now, for me, it's not a big deal. It was a doorbell. I don't care if anybody looks at my front door. Uh, but there are written door cameras. Ring makes uh, those stick-up cams that you could put inside. So, Yeah, I think you've already said it. I, I think it was careless. I think you, that especially when you're a small company, you can't af maybe you can't afford to have that executive who's in charge of policing these things, but you need that person. Um, That's a but good at the point. Higher but level, you, but it's, it's, it's true at the higher level too. I mean, I, when I wrote my post about, about Facebook two weeks ago, uh, you know, I've long said they needed a journalist and then I made fun of journalists. So maybe it's not a journalist, but they need someone at a high level in that company uh, who has the authority to make change, who can um, make them and keep them honest. And these companies all need that. Uh, I don't think well, that their motive is bad at the get-go, but carelessness leads people into presumptions of panic. I would say I think tech has gotten a pass on this because they've been too nerdy for so long, right? If you, if you think about like your typical tech thing, you know, the idea of moving fast and breaking things is one aspect of it. But another aspect is just like tech historically was tech, right? It wasn't for everyone else, but that has not been true for like the last two decades but we still have that and, mindset though you're right but yeah. we still have this mindset yeah. of it's okay and i think 
like if I'm starting a company outside of the tech world, like let's say I'm starting just an escrow company or, a, you know, a medical billing company. These are actually things that people start all the time. There are a long list of regulations and things that you would never think to ignore. You would actually design your company around, you know, protection of data, meeting these regulations. And tech has been given a pass, and I think it's probably time to stop because the type of data they're getting a hold of and using is, I, I don't know if their quote unquote innovations really make up for the fact that they have access to so much oh, information. Oh, I think the pass now. is over. I think, Stacey, I think the pass is well over, don't you? This year, or 2018, I, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Everything changed. Well, it started 2018, 2019, maybe. And, you know, books like that Surveillance Capitalism book, I think that, I think, and, uh, you know, what was the, uh, what was the book before that, uh, Saul? We, we interviewed him. Um, but the, the Gang of Four, they, they, uh, this stuff is going to change, is changing. This really stuff is, people are starting to really look hard on this. I think they should.